Okay, good. All right, hey, listen, uh, welcome back everybody. Uh, back to geometry. Let me go ahead and um, share with something because today we're gonna talk about something important that has to do with angle relationships. So with that, Marcus, go ahead and read this uh, first definition here. Angle bisector, a ray that bisects or cuts an angle into two equal angles. All right, so what's one thing you can guarantee me? That, uh, that, that they're two equal angles? Yeah, they, that an angle bisector is gonna make these two things equal. So you see how I placed these angle arcs? They're markings that I'm giving myself. Now, it should be set where the 27 itself gives you, you know, 27, 27, they're both equal. But mm -hmm. the angle arcs, if this was not here, okay, the angle arcs, if you see an angle bisector, should give you the exact same solution. So good. And now let's go ahead and talk about adjacent angles. Adjacent angles, Marcus, read adjacent angles. Two angles that share a side but do not overlap. All right, good. Okay, so why is this not adjacent? Because they don't share a side. Yeah, exactly. You need to have a shared side like this one. You see how that one shared the slide? Then mm -hmm. that's the reason why those are called adjacent. These, there's a void right here. So if you see them separated, no. That's the way you want to think about it. No. All right. Okay. Love it. Let's go to the next one, Marcus. Read the next one. Two adjacent angles whose sides form a straight angle. Okay. And the definition is known as? Uh, linear pair. Yeah, linear pair. So what makes a straight angle different from a linear pair? Straight angle is only 90 degrees, right? Well, straight angle is 180. Yeah, 180, yeah, right? 100. Yeah, yeah. So the only thing that's neat about it is, is there's another ray coming out. Yeah, of it. There, there's an array that is uh, doing it. And um, hey, so why is this one not a linear pair? Because they're not connected. Well, they're not adjacent. Exactly. Adjacent. So remember this, this word about adjacent. Since it's not adjacent, then you can't call it a linear pair. It does, I mean, if you, we, if you take 120 and 60 and them together, it does equal 180, but it doesn't give you that linear pair that we're looking for. All right, good. So let's go to the next one. Marcus, go ahead and read this one. Vertical angles, two opposite angles formed by intersecting lines. Yeah, good. So um, you see these arcs right here? Now, this is thing, something really important. Now, I want you to do this, Marcus. Go ahead and cross your hands and look at your angles that are formed on top and bottom. It's kind of, mine's is trying to cover my screen, right? But can you see the angles that are formed on either side? Okay. Yeah. Change the angle, like make them more narrow. Marcus, go ahead and make them more narrow. Yeah. What do you notice about the angles on the vertical sides? They, they, they stay congruent. Yeah, they're the same, right? So even if you change it, no matter, and everybody at home should be doing this, so you could see, Marcus, change the position of your angles. You notice the vertical angles? Now, it's very important you're able to discover the vertical angles. And what I mean is this. Um, if you're looking at this side of your arms or you're looking at the bottom and i'm hoping everybody at home is doing that not do it it proves to you that vertical angles are congruent did you know that before marcus no no right but were you able to prove it to yourself with your arms yeah yeah pretty much you know use your arms and see yourself like move your stuff or use your fingers and move your fingers around you notice that the opposite sides of the angles form are gonna be exactly the same. Okay, Marcus, go ahead and read the next one. Complementary angles, two angles whose sum is 90 degrees. All right, good. All right, so um, what's wrong with these? This one and this one. Well, uh, first of all, they're not connected. They're yeah. not adjacent, right? Yeah, they have that's to be. Yeah. It's not adjacent to well, or. Actually, this one, no, actually, they could be not adjacent. This one Are actually it? is a complementary. Yeah, so um, this one's not because it's one, not 180. Oh, Take yeah, a look. It goes 180. Notice how the 31 and the 59 equal 90 and 25 and 65. Yeah. So this one doesn't care if they're adjacent or not. Okay, so if you, if you say, yeah, those two angles are complementary, the thing that it's guaranteeing you is that the result equals 90, uh, equals 90 degrees. All right, good. Okay, okay, Mar okay Marcus, go ahead and read the next route. Uh, the next definition. Supplementary angles. Two angles whose sum is 180 degrees. 
Good. All right. So um, these are supplementary because they equal 180. These are supplementary. This is also known as a linear pair. So the, if you want to think about something, okay, um, with uh, supplementary angles, okay, so think about supplementary is like a big circle and linear pairs like inside of it as a result. Does it make sense? Like there's an, an extra condition in order for you to fit into linear pair. The supplementary, one thing I love about it is that as long as it equals 180, you got it. You got the result that you're looking for. All right, so let's go all together. Let's go to the next page. Marcus, go ahead and read this. Concept summary, finding information from a diagram. There are some relationships you can assume to be true from, di from a diagram that has no marks or measures. There are other relationships you cannot assume directly. For example, you can conclude the following from unmarked diagram, from an unmarked diagram. Angles are adjacent, angles are adjacent and supplementary, angles are vertical or angles. Okay. You cannot conclude the following from an unmarked diagram. Angles are, or segments are congruent. An angle is a right angle. Angles are complementary. Yeah, so in a quick sense, if it's unmarked, you could pretty much tell me if they're adjacent they're adjacent supplementary or if they're vertical right because um you're guaranteed with any two lines that these right here are going to be like especially with vertical that they're going to be congruent so they don't have to be marked you're guaranteed those results automatically same thing to do when you have um let me see let me bring up if you have some kind of ray connecting then you know these angles are going to be adjacent that's something else that I mean, you're able to guarantee and prove. Oops. Now, the things you cannot guarantee. Um, you can't say that's 90 degrees. Does it make sense if it's not marked? You need to be, I need to tell you, I, I gotta give a mark in order to prove it. So if you tell me, hey, Mr. Sandoval, uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you that this thing's 90 degrees because it looks 90 degrees, I'm gonna say you're wrong. You cannot prove that. All right, so with unmarked, you cannot prove the angles are right angles or the angles are complementary or that the angles are congruent. Like even if they look the same, you can't say those things. All right, so those are some important things that, that we have to do. All right, good. Okay, Marcus, um, go ahead and tell me which of the following form a vertical angle. Okay, so which a vertical angle. Yeah, which of the following form a vertical angle. What's the vertical angle again? Mm, they're the ones that remember when you made your hands, there were the oh, okay. angles on this side. So there's vertical angles. Oh. So I actually yeah. can't give you the result right there. You see the solution? Yeah. Yeah. So, so it would just be any without the letter M. So A. It would be A. Yeah. Good. Okay. Let's do the next one. Um, all right. And that one tells you, shows you that it's A. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, example two, Marcus. Tell me which of the following are separating angles? Uh, supplementary okay so yeah. that would be angles that equal right angle mm -hmm. uh, no this is no? important and this is really important why the people writing notes at home need to memorize these things supplementary means they equal 180 degrees 80. okay yeah. 180 exactly so supplementary equals 180 and complementary doesn't no complementary uh, equals 90 degrees 90 yeah because yeah, that's something else that's important that we have to keep in mind Good. So, which ones? Uh, again, is it just any angle without the letter M? No, no, because he, in this case, um, I'm going to show you the result. Um, and it should probably be in the next one. It's actually these two right here. It's, um, it has to do with this. This one, this is uh, ABM is that angle. And NBC is this angle. No, yeah, but wouldn't A, B, G, and G, B, C work too? Yeah, it would. But it's not up there as an answer choice. Oh, okay. Solution choice, so it's it's not one of them. So good. All right, now let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Uh, let's do this. One. Okay, so Marcus, true or false? Explain. So each one. So B, F, D, and C, F, D are adjacent angles. B. 
So BFD mm -hmm. and okay. CF. Actually, let me change the color on this. Uh, yeah, true. Mm, can they overlap? Why does adjacent angles mean again? Sorry. Yeah, that means that, no, that's all right. Um, the thing that we discover with the adjacent angles is that they share a common, see, see, see I made that bigger? Yeah. Yeah, they share a common side. Now, in this case, they're not sharing a common side. They're overlapping. And what I mean is this, um, the yellow one is, oops, hold on a second. The yellow one is all of this. Well, the green one is this one. So they're not really sharing a common side because the yellow one is, you see how it says BFD? So the yellow one mm -hmm. is like inside the other one. If anything, they're overlapping angles. They're not adjacent. Oh. Right? I can guarantee you that they're overlapping, but I cannot guarantee you they're adjacent because they're not next to each other. So BFD and CFD would be adjacent. Uh, yeah, hold on a second. Let me, let me, uh, well, actually, using the same example, if, they, if it would have been BFC mm -hmm. and CFD, yeah, those would have been okay. angles. All right, good. Uh, okay, Marcus, what about the next one? Oh, why'd you put a T next to it? It's false. Oh, yeah, right. right. <clears throat> Six set. There you go. AFE and CFD are vertical angles. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the same thing. So AFE and CFD. Yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah. That's true. Okay, okay let's do the next one. AFB and BFD form a linear pair. Right, and BFD. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I agree with you on that too. And what about the next one? AFE, so which one's the AFE, then AFB, and BFC are supplementary angles. Is that true? Yeah. Well, um, they add up to 180, but there's but something the important. Difference. Yeah, there's something important about the definition. Let's go back to it real quick. And I want to share with you so we can discover. Notice how right here it says two angles. So um, in that example, we went in from two to three. Oh, okay, yeah. You remember, uh, so since it's three, it does count? Yeah, since it's three, it doesn't count. So you can't call, you can't call them supplementary angles. The angles add up. You could say they're three angles add up to 180, but they're not supplementary. Okay. okay. All right, good. All right, so yeah. So we were good. You see all these answers? They proved to us that we came up with all the correct solutions. Okay, let's go next yeah. one. Okay, good. So um, what can you conclude about the angles below? So tell me if okay, you, so you could tell me, Marcus, to write down. Uh, I could conclude that one or two, one, angles one and angles two are adjacent angles. Yes, yeah, true. And I went ahead and put congruent and adjacent. Why did I, why can I say they're congruent? Oh, because they're the same. Adjacent angles are congruent as no, well. No, also, no. Also, the little that's line, the mark marks. Yeah, the marks. Mark. The marks. Yeah, it's the, the little marks right here that uh, make it make me they guarantee me the solution that they're congruent all right so um give me something else angles five and angles three make uh in a vertical angle yeah so that means they're congruent too so angles yeah. three and angle five are vertical and i went ahead and took the liberty of placing already the result that they're congruent okay so okay. Give me something, what else can you tell me what give me another angle three and angle four make a linear, linear pair Mm -hmm. Yeah. And by that knowledge, you also know that they're supplementary. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Very good. And what else? Uh, 
angle is what? Oh, wait, that wouldn't work. What is it? Oh, no, I mean, this, there's, um, you could do the same thing with angles five and four. They're also in oh, yeah, there. Four. Yeah, so we won't get into that. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Yeah, so, and then this one gives you some other results, a couple other things. Um, yeah, like, and then when this one said something we didn't say about, the angles one and five are adjacent. All right, now, I'm sorry? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah and then we can say that about anything. It's so like five and four are adjacent, four and three oh, are adjacent, okay. two yeah, okay. and three are adjacent. We could actually be guaranteed you about that on anything. All right. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, um, go ahead and it says, um, which conclusion can be drawn from the picture below? So what can you guarantee me on this one, Marcus? Can you guarantee me that PW and WQ are congruent? Yeah. No. No, actually, no, sorry. I thought those yeah. were little arrows. No, yeah, yeah, because there's no, there's no markings there. So as a result, you can't guarantee me of that. Mm -hmm. okay good now what about the next one okay tv bisects pq yeah so this tv so basically does this one bisect pq well i think we can't tell because there's no arc marks or anything yeah right? actually exactly so you can't assume it so now next one twq is a right angle yeah so it's twq uh, right angle uh, we can't assume that there's no arc marks. Good. So last choice is that's true. TW is equal to V dot uh, WV. Yeah, yeah, that's true. There's yeah. a little arc marks. Mm -hmm. exactly. exactly. Love it. Okay, let's do the next one. Yeah, so they show you there. Okay, so now let's do this one. Um, it says KPL and JPL form a linear pair. Find the measure of each angle. So how would I do this, Marcus? Uh, well, you would, okay, so it would be 2x plus 24 mm -hmm. plus 4x plus 36 equals 180. Yeah, exactly. And then we say we combine family members, combine those and combine these. So then after that, we get 40, so we get 60. We go 180. You see how we're completely simplified? We start getting yeah. DOS backwards. We have to track 60. Yes, yeah, so x six to both sides. As a result, we get six x is equal to uh, one twenty. And then the next step in solving this is to divide by six. My next result is going to be that x is twenty. But we're only going to use this as a stepping stone solution, right? Because afterwards, we put it back into here. So I'll switch colors. Two times twenty plus twenty four gives me the result that that's forty. Forty plus twenty four, sixty four. So that one's 64. Now I'm guaranteed since the other one has to, since both of these equal 180, I'm going to do 180 minus 64. And I'll give it the result that that's going to be 670, 36, 36, 100. It's going to be um, 116, right? Yeah. 116. Yeah. So, and then if you put the actual value 20 in there, you should get 116 too, because you get 80 plus 36. So 80 plus 36 is a 116. So they get proved either way. All right, good. Now let's go ahead and do the next one. Yeah, so this one shows you step by step. And they came up with the same results we did. All right, so if you wanted to pause the slide after you're watching this video to actually go ahead and um, write it down a little bit more than what I did, feel free. You have the choice and the benefit to do so. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay. Uh, it says angles A and B are supplementary, and angle, the measurement of angle A is 5x plus 35, and the measurement of angle B is 8x plus 28. Write the equation for the ratio to find the measure of each angle. All right, so what would I do, Marcus? Okay, so yeah, that means. Okay, so angle A and angle B, if you add them together, they equal 180. You know that? So it would be 5x plus 35 plus 8x plus 28 equals 180. Yeah, yeah. And actually, you know, I want to say they probably did the result over here. So let me show you how they did it. I'll move myself up the screen a little bit. So exactly what we said, they did the sketch. 
and then it went ahead and solved. So if you need some more practice, go ahead and copy this down. Um, one thing you should always do is, uh, the way you, you can guarantee yourself, you know you're able to do it, is if you could do it without watching the video, do it on your own, write in a separate sheet of paper, even though if you have all the solution in front of you, go ahead and try it again and rewrite it again and see if you could actually master it. If you're able to remember, understand, and, and uh, analyze, like apply it, then you reach a level of mastery that you can do it on your own. If you want to further push yourself, you have to like either analyze and create. That means you make your own problem. All right, so let's go ahead and do the next one. All right, so Marcus, read this one. Well, it says. Ray. Okay. Ray K K M bisects uh, equal J K L. If M, if no, if the measure of J K L J K L is seventy two, what is the measure of J K M? Well, that's easy. Since bisects just mean is just the area that divides the angle into two equal parts. Yes. It just divide seventy two by two. Yes. So this bisects it. Yeah. And you're definitely right. And they're saying that this thing is seventy two degrees, right? So then if we take that and divide it by two because it's a bisector. So I wrote the two because of this. Um, because of the bisect. So yeah. that each of these are 36 as a result. So yeah. in green gives me the what the reason why you did what you explained, the benefit of giving you the result that you came up with. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and do the next one and it shows you the same thing we came up with. So love it. All right, now let's do the next one. Uh, example nine. Okay, A C by six D A B. Okay. And if the AC is 58, so with some of these, it's going to be important you sketch them out because they're going to give you the benefit that you could actually see. Let me move that a little bit better. Uh, so D, A, B. Which means that as a result, see how it says AC bisects it? That means that there's a ray in between there and guarantees me that there's a C mark. Now it says that DAC is 58 degrees. So in this sense, this is 58. So Marcus, what can you quickly tell me? Well, that uh, CAB would equal 58. Yeah, as well, right? And how can you guarantee me that? Because uh, bisector makes each of them angle, I mean, uh, congruent. Yeah, exactly. You should now you go back. Yes, love it. All right, good. Now let's move on to the next one. Yeah, and there's our result. There's our solution. Proves exactly everything that we're talking about. Uh, okay. Now it says. Yeah, I have to go to a Zoom meeting. Oh, you do? All right, good. Yeah. Okay. All right, so say bye to everybody. Bye. All right, good. All right, so example ten. What type of angles formed by angle A, angle AEC, and angle DEC? All right. Um, let's see. It says fang angle AEC. And if AEC is 3x plus 12, and angle DEC is 4x plus 9. So now, one thing that's going to be important for you to be able to recognize here, and this is guaranteed to be 90 degrees. Now, it doesn't say it's five seconds, so you can't just assume that 45, 45. So as a result, this is what you're going to have. You're guaranteed, since that's a right angle, you could go ahead and tell them to equal to 90 degrees, and then go ahead and solve for it. So after you solve for x, you go ahead and put each one back in and actually get the measurement for each one. Because I'm going to the angle e, AEC. All right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, it says right here, you and your friends have to solve the following equations. Find the value of what is the mistake? Correct the error. Okay, the error, the, the result of the error is this. This is 90 degrees. This should be 90 all the way around. That's, that's the one all the way around, but 90 here, 90 here, and then fix it. And then we'll see that here. So this is the correct way to go ahead and do it. All right, good. And with that, we end our lesson. All right, good. Hey, listen, thank you for coming back to me. Um, we'll go ahead and after this, go ahead and do a Bye, everybody.